Bam! Look at that. Bulma looking out the window and everything. What are we saying about the... <gasps> Killer! Oh my god, thank you for the raid. Oh my god, hello. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god, Eternal, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Oh my god, you guys came just in time. Hi, hi, how are you guys doing? Yay, welcome in, Raiders. My name is DBC Nerd Boy. Uh, temporarily not that because um, I made a terrible wish <laughs> to, to have anime titties. Um, but it, it's fine. Um, I'm a Dragon Ball VTuber, and uh, you know, I just been trying to debut my my new podcast room and we're gonna be doing a podcast about dragon ball heroes uh we're gonna talk about vtubing and um other stuff like later towards like the end of stream i'll let you guys uh join in the discord we get in a call Stupid. and we, i'm not gonna let you get the chat we, we ask questions and stuff you can ask me questions ask me anything um and yeah yeah what are we saying ronan what are we saying about the about the goku statue in the background Oh my god, not the hot tie. Straight out the gate, too. That's crazy. We just got here, bro. I love it. It's fine. It's it's, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Hold on. I have to fix that thing before I... Um... Hila, do you see the plant right there? I, I have the plant. It's on my desk. Um... Where... Bro, where is that? Oh. Oh shit. I don't remember where it went. My sound alert thing. Oh, wait. There it is. Have to move it so it's more visible the plant let's go yeah look the plants right there on my desk um bam is it in front I can't, i'm not gonna be able to tell if it's in front or not but here you go okay also i'm going to fix i have like a little space background to like cover up that and i wanted to put like the chat bigger so you guys can see it um but i mean you guys can see over there on that side too so but yeah so um let me pause this really quick and uh ronan here's your shot shoot your shot we're gonna we're gonna meme again because oh dragon ball heroes all right there's two different things we can talk about for dragon ball heroes which is a good thing why i wanted to like go into this topic um for those of you that are super confused like if you see um the like promotional anime clips or like other trailers for like games and stuff well okay so dragon ball heroes well now it's called super dragon ball heroes because of all the new um like stuff going on with dragon ball super and everything hello mosep hello how are you oh my god um welcome welcome you just you just came in perfect time we're we're, st we're, we're talking about you know the the, the beginning parts of the podcast we're talking about dragon ball heroes we're just about to start talking about our topics and all that cool stuff so yeah yeah exciting exciting stuff so okay um let me actually go to the direct like definition of what dragon ball heroes is because there's a lot going on with that um if you know from like Dragon Ball Z universe is kind of similar. Um, the Dragon Ball Heroes came out first with the idea of, okay, you as a player get to go back in time in the Dragon Ball world and save them, like the heroes from any kind of crazy stuff that's going on that shouldn't be happening in the timeline. Um, and you just, you know, you just go back in time and just relive Dragon Ball. But like but you're there physically you know it's really cool so in the actual dragon ball wiki by definition um dragon ball heroes or and also known as now super dragon ball heroes super dragon ball heroes right it even says it right there so you can read it super cool um is a japanese arcade card game developed by dimps as the six dragon ball z data card what card game so it's just a the actual game itself, you can play it. Um, there's one game for the Switch, but I don't know if you can get the arcade cabinets in America. I'm pretty sure you can't because the like those arcade cabinets are like Japanese only kind of deals. Um, so 
yeah, it's it's difficult trying to actually physically get your hands on an arcade cabinet of Dragon Ball Heroes, but with the release of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, they had that card game come out for the Switch, and it was it was fun. So it's a pretty cool game. Um, so there's oh there's one for the Nintendo 3DS, which is Dragon Ball Heroes Ultimate Mission. Oh, that's what that looks like. Okay, cool. Uh, Dragon Ball Heroes Ultimate Mission 2 and Dragon Ball Heroes Ultimate Mission X. So there's like, there's a couple games, but basically. The real fun is when you have an arcade cabinet because you get these cards and you can actually use them on the arcade cabinet and you basically have a deck of heroes and you just can use whatever in your your missions and stuff. So, um, and the port of Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission is the one for the Switch that recently came out. I say recently, but it's been, I think it was a couple of years ago it came out, but still, for the Switch, I mean, you know. Um... Which included content added in the game Super Dragon Ball Heroes rebrand and was the first Dragon Ball Heroes game to be localized for the West. Several manga have also been released adapting the game, including Dragon Ball Heroes Victory Mission, Dragon Ball Heroes Charisma Mission. Have you played Transformers Rise of the Turbulence Formers? No. That sounds nuts. That sounds nuts. Oh my god. Um. Dragon, Super Dragon Ball Heroes Big Bang Mission and Super Dragon Ball Heroes Ultra God Mission, which that one, that one's crazy. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff, like the anime um, is like right now the easiest way to kind of like understand what Dragon Ball Heroes is about. Um, again, the anime has nothing to do with actually actual Dragon Ball, other than it's like promotional content it's for really good, the trust game me, it's also approved by optimus prime himself the director of the video game he optimus prime made the game that's crazy bro <laughs> optimus prime made the game whoa <laughs> i love that that's crazy um so yeah like the um the promotional anime super dragon ball heroes it's it's it, it can be kind of confusing when you first look at it um because it kind of starts out a little linear but doesn't have like too much um plot driven stuff like you get confused at first when you see these characters come out you're like oh who's this i have no idea and they kind of explain it a little bit the problem too is there's like a lot of localization um problems like if you're watching them on youtube you have to like really look into the like subtitles and stuff to make sure um what they're saying is actually like you know what they're saying it's kind of weird there's like some weird translation issues but that's okay um you know but either way it's it's really fun like the actual um like anime itself because it's basically like fan service the anime um retro shiba hello welcome thank you for treating bro me oh my god um so the actual anime itself can be fun because of fan service, but confusing because of like what you're actually watching, like plot wise. It it's a lot of like okay, this character, um, he is like one of the bad guys that are like that can travel through time and they're trying to like um control all of time or whatever and it's it's weird. You they they look like demons and stuff, and it's very weird, but it's interesting. It's interesting and it's fun, and I love it, and I wish I had the actual cards and stuff to show off, but um, I can actually just pull that up really quick so you guys can see that. Um, these images, the, the way that the games go, let me see. Uh, arcade machines, like the actual arcade games is really cool. Like this, this is basically what the arcades look. So let me see right here real quick. Whoops. Well, this is basically a website where you can see, like, you can buy the cards, I guess. Hmm. Cool. But yeah, there's these are all the cards. Um, they have all this different cra crazy stats and stuff. I still know nothing about it. Um, it's just a random, like, arcade card game where you just gather heroes and just fight. There's no real plot. To the game um other than like okay you you're the player you go in to play uh a, an arcade game and you get like 
sucked into the world, kind of like Sword Art Online type of shenanigans, like um, that kind of stuff. You end up going into the world and you can like fight and be in the world of Dragon Ball, you know? So, so yeah. Ronan trying to you challenge. You can steal his Discord on the web browser. Did you know you can still use Discord on the web browser? That's kind of weird, but I, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Jeez. Okay, but yeah, these cards are really neat, and I will actually pull up a video of what the actual like original like the trailers, the old trailers of the the first like version of Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, Dragon Ball Heroes, what was it? I think it was just like the trailer, I would say, just so that you guys can see what, what, what that was about. I think it was. No, not that. That's the movie. Hold on. Or we can look at how the arcade game works. Dragon Ball Heroes arcade game. Oh, in English. Okay, well, oh, like 11 years ago, jeez. Come get this, Channel Murphy is tearing my butt up. Oh my god. Not the, oh, not the challenge. Okay, let's see, for example, this one little clip of someone trying to play the game. I'm gonna skip a bit. Uh, oh. See, so like what he did there, there was this, there's like a card you can get where you, to play the game. You get the card and then you put it in there so you can start playing the game. And then from there you can have, you get, the machine gives you cards. If you don't have any, I think after the, you play, it'll give you cards. I forget how it works, but you get cards and you can just stack them or set them on the, the play mat looking thing there. And you can set up your, um, you know, your, your team and just start playing. Let me actually uh, pull up a better video. You're right. This is 11 years old. 11 years ago, bro. Dragon Ball Heroes Arcade Machine. Nope. I want to see like the actual arcade uh, thing. There you go. That looks better. Six months ago. Recent. Ooh, what about this? Wait a minute. Hold on. Wow. Still just as blurry. That's crazy. In 720p, you know. Oh, anyway. Wait, there goes someone playing it. Okay, perfect example. It gives you a card. And there you go. Look at that. That's a cool... Oh, that's a good card. That Majin Buu right there, that's a good one. Like, the, the, the cards look so cool. The art looks like, um... It's, like, kind of similar to Dragon Ball Legends um, kind of art. Or Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, if you guys ever played those games. Um, they're mobile games. You can, you can play them. They're free to play. And they're really cool. And it's like that, just like just a Dragon Ball card game. See, he's got the, oh, this person's got all the cards there, and you can just set them up in in any way, like on the thing. So there's one as a Goku. That's that's Super Saiyan three Goku. That's a uh, what's his name? That's uh, I think I think it's Mira or Toa. One of the two. Um, there's Champa. There's uh, Zeno, um, Vegito over there. There's Bardock. And you can hear Dragon Ball Super playing in the background. <laughs> there's different. Those are all like the missions and stuff you get to pick. That's a good card. Hold on. That yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, 
And yeah, so basically, like, these games are really cool. You can go and, like, do different missions and fight different enemies in the world of Dragon Ball. Basically, this game expands way more in, like, the world of Dragon Ball than, like, a lot of other games does. And that's one of the reasons why I think it stays Japan only, because if everyone wanted it, I, I don't know, it's, it's weird. There are, like I said, there are, is one game that's actually just localized in the west and that's um super dragon ball heroes uh world mission uh for the switch and unfortunately that's how it is wait the genkai x topo playing in the background yeah yeah just <laughs> the, the, yeah it was it was really cool um but yeah the, these arcade machines are so cool because of the fact that it gives you the cards when you like when you're playing like you get cards from the machines or you could buy some of them online and then you go and play with some form of a deck and then give you more cards and it's really cool it's a really cool way of like doing like the gotcha thing because you know japan is big on gotcha stuff and this arcade machine is perfect for that for dragon ball fans that are playing dragon ball heroes you go in you you have some kind of deck and then try to play and get more cards and you just keep playing you just keep being addicted to dragon ball heroes especially the storyline and um with however the storyline is it's kind of like a mess when you think about it but it's really cool just because of like that plus random fan service like uh bardock being super saiyan 3 or super saiyan 4 like anybody can have any ability and there's no there's no thought into it really and that's why dragon Ball heroes is so popular in japan um be solely because it's just hey what if trunks became a super saiyan god like they it why not you know like it's just for the fan service and just why not you know fit the bill of all the fan art that you see online or whatever you know let me skip a bit to when they're actually in combat so you place the cards onto the screen there and it's like you can you slide the cards up to a certain spot and you they'll like um, charge their key or you can set them for defense when you move up move them up in higher parts of the screen and if you go like to the farthest end i think is when you go into attack mode which is really cool see and the cool part about this I, i'm trying to pause it when it's not so blurry but um when you whoops i can you can't really see it that well but it's fine Do, does it have super saiyan trunks blue i think they do i'm not sure when you get the chance to look at react okay i will i will um yeah so like it when you place the car the cards down on the screen it's so cool how they do this i don't know how it works but when you place those cards down on the screen those characters pop up in game like it's it's really cool See, now look, now they're all, all his characters are right there. The cards are right there on the screen. I don't know how they do it, but it's so cool. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Here's my squad. You got Xeno, um, Vegito, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, uh, the Supreme Kai of Time, Hachiyak, uh, Mira or Toa. I always confuse the names. Um, Gogeta and Champa. Like, those are his cards that he physically just put down on the screen and... There it is. They're in game. It's really cool how they did this. I, I love it. And now he's getting ready to start battle. How are they living into the future already? It's 2023. And the funny thing about it is, right, these arcade machines have been around for years in Japan. Like, they've they've been around for years. Dragon Ball Heroes is really old. And they, they have these arcade machines to, just laying around in, like, the Sega Arcade. It's amazing. They're really high-tech stuff. Now he's going into a match. So now all the characters go go down on the far. All the characters get moved. This is basically just like the mat where you are placing them down, and then you bring them back down. 
Tokyo said, fuck it. We're <laughs> moving into the future starting today. Yeah, basically. Basically, that was so cool. Yeah, it's it's I love it. I love it. So now. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. So you guys can see everything. Hold on. Hold on one second. Whoops. That's a good shot. So you can see the whole arcade cabinet, right? So the bottom part where he the the person put like all the cards that's basically now you're starting the match you have to put the cards down and then when you're moving the characters back up or anywhere like up down the middle something like that is how you play you, you move one character up um to you can do defense and another like farther up to attack or another to charge your key so that way Either every character on your team has enough key to do whatever, and you can just have one just sitting there charging, and it's really cool. I love that kind of stuff, like setting up your, your teams, kind of like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever. It's different. It's, it's kind of a different way of doing it, but it makes sense for Dragon Ball, you know? That art looks really sick, too. Oh, my God. So now they're in combat. That's the opposing team. That's a really that's a really crazy team. So this is how the game looks. This is how it shows you the levels of like where to move the characters on the screen. So you start you start back down here at, on the bottom and that's like the the charge phase where you're charging your energy and stuff and then you move farther up for like attack and whatnot. And it's really cool. See, now he's got his characters placed already. And I confuse myself with this every time, but if I actually got around to playing it, which I, I'm probably going to get the game, I'm not going to lie. It is on the Switch. I can get it. Um, I might stream it soon. Um, <laughs> I think, if, I, if I'm correct, the bigger the number, the the better the rock, paper, scissors is for attacking. So if this number is bigger than the opponents, you get to attack first. Something like that. Isn't this like a mini game in Xenoverse 2? It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, Xenoverse, the thing about it is, right, and I'll explain, Xenoverse 2 and Xenoverse in general um, are inspired by Dragon Ball Heroes. The idea of, okay, you are you can make a character or you whatever, you go into like the story, for example, you as the person goes back in time to save any like messed up stuff going on in the Dragon Ball universe. That's the same thing that happens in Dragon Ball Heroes. Dragon Ball Heroes started at first and Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 are like the Western adaptations, if that makes any sense, because of the fact that uh, we don't have uh, Dragon Ball Heroes as the arcade games. Um, but yeah, the only thing we have that's close is Dragon Ball, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission for the Switch. Um, so I don't know why, but, um, I would love to have an arcade cabinet here in my house and just play the shit out of this game, but <laughs> I don't know. I just, I like the, the real feel of having those cards and being able to like actually do something on an arcade cabinet, if that makes any sense. So like playing it on the Switch is cool and all, but I, you know what I mean? I, I like the this being able to do this and like any anywhere that i want to like if i if i had an arcade ca uh near my house that i could go to and they had this arcade cabinet i'm gonna go there every day because <laughs> it's just it's so fun so yeah now you start combat and the the neat thing about this by the way the very very cool thing about like the actual gameplay and how it looks it's um budokai like one two and three kind of um art style and it's the simplest i think and i think that's why everyone loves it too because it's like you if you look at the characters like if you look at Vegito's portrait it it looks like he's it's portrait from drag um dragon Ball Z budokai three so it's really cool like you see what i'm talking about that's that, that's budokai art that's Budokai game art, and it's really cool. Little bit of, yep, there you go.
Now that's the, going back down to the charge phase, and then that's the uh, attack phase right there. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hmm. Now he's gonna attack. And then you, like, have to move the card around. To charge the ability, I guess. Which is really cool. Cutscenes and everything. Like, it's just so cool. You can see them, too, on the actual screen down there and everything. They're right there. Like, that's so cool. I love it. But, yeah, this, like, that's how the arcades look, right? And how the actual gameplay is with the arcade. Now, for the promotional anime. I love, I love you, bitch. bitch. I ain't gonna never stop loving you, bitch. So, for the promotional anime, which... Ronan, you've been there for when we've uh, streamed it a bit, or like watched it in general. Um, it's it's really fun. It's really fun. I love the promotional anime. Like, let me just look it up. The actual, I don't know. I think there's a playlist on YouTube that you can like find all of the episodes. Um, let me see. Uh, Dragon Ball. Hold on. Let's go to Super Dragon Ball Heroes anime. Wait. Uh, all playlist. Yeah, there is. I think this is the one that I was recently watching. Um, oh, this is all in Japanese. There's some new stuff going on, I think, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, you can watch the full anime on YouTube. Yeah, the full promotional anime is, is mostly on YouTube. I say mostly because it's... I think the only way, the only way to watch it, I'm pretty sure, but... Let's double check these. Um, this is, I think, where I was, where I left off at. No, hold on. I will go to my history. Hi, AquaDBZ. Oh my God, Kathy. Hello. Subbed on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, what? So, yeah, yeah. Subtitles. Yes. Um, a lot of times when you're going through the um, the subtitles, it does get kind of uh, confusing because the some videos are they have the subtitles set up differently but it can it can be done you can still watch it there let me just actually go back to find the um last video that i watched where we had the playlist okay so it was on this channel called hype um i actually found the entire playlist on so let's i'm gonna click the video real quick go to the channel and i think they have the playlist right here Oh, it doesn't show it. Oh, that's sneaky. I see. Okay. That's weird because I swear I saw the entire playlist. What? That's weird. Either way, it's right here. Like, you, there's a, most of the episodes are right here. Like, episode four, five, six, seven, um, and all that. It's weird how, like, that happens. But, um, yeah, no. There's a lot of different channels that, um, show off the episodes. But for context, again, the, the, promotional anime has no like connection to any form of dragon Ball content like dragon Ball z dragon Ball super other than you know you know the characters exist you know who they are you know what they can do all right let's see them all do different things you know god something in my shop <laughs> kathy no not the hakai oh my god um but yeah so basically um, let me actually, I swear I had found something different. Wait, nope. Boom. Two, okay, I'm not going to do two Akai's. I'm not doing both Akai's. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. That's not, nope, nope, not, nah, I'm not. English dub. No, you, you lie. You lie. There's no English dub. I'm the Akai king. Oh my God. Okay. But yeah, there you go. This is basically the same thing. There, there's, there's some playlists on YouTube you can find. And if I were to go to the latest, or like the first episode, 
it looks like Dragon Ball Super, just regular Dragon Ball Super content, but it's um actually just you know continuing on with stuff. Wait, we're going to get the guide restriction of the stream. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, um, there's only going to be one Hakai, unfortunately, which is going to happen right now. Um. Nico, Nico, ni. Oh my God, that's so cute, Lila Onikuma. So yeah, let's um let's do the one little Hakai. That was on point. What do you mean? I don't know why you got mad about it. That was... That was 10 out of 10, I think, still. 10 out of 10. Okay. Let's continue. No. <laughs> no. Let's continue with... How the Dragon Ball Heroes anime works. And it's... It's gonna be confusing... Because if you don't know Dragon Ball Heroes... Um... Content... It, they just kind of do whatever. Um, and if you don't know about Dragon Ball Super or haven't seen Dragon Ball Super, um, it's going to be even more complicated. <laughs> Uncle DBZ Uppies. Okay, I, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Where is it? Oh. On this day forward, you were the... <gasps> oh my god. The passing of the torch. It is time. Oh my god. All right, here you go. One, two, three. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Wee. <laughs> Wee. Oh my god. Wait, like, I, look, I got bread. There's some, there's some bread over there. Do you see? Do you see the bread? Here, wait, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, expand on the bread. Make the bread expand. Where's your avatar? Don't, don't worry about it. Look at the bread. He, be, be, oh, the, oh, oh, oh my God! The bread's growing. Oh no! Why is the why is the bread growing? What? Whoa! That's that's a big bread. That's a big bread. <laughs> oh my God! It's gonna fall off the couch in a minute. Oh my God! Anyway, okay. Let's show off the first episode i say quote unquote um of the dragon ball heroes anime really quick just a little bit because the cool thing about this promotional anime since it's not like a huge in-depth anime thing um it's kind of short every episode is like less than 10 minutes if if that may, maybe 11 12 minutes is not long so that's really cool now i'm gonna cry in the wait what, where's the challenge bro me redeem i'm trying to fight um it should be there. I'm going to cry in the corner now. For oh, Ronin. No, that's okay. All right, here you go. So this is like the first episode of Dragon Ball Heroes. And there are subtitles, but it's... I don't know how that's going to work on this tiny screen. But it will make it work. Predict. What? Predictive? Wait, did I... Pre did I... How does this work? Oh. Oh, I can't predict on the thing. Anyway. Whoa. Oh, so you guys are basically gambling. Not really, but holy shit, that's crazy. Anyway. Um, it's got its own freaking look, you can see the cards and everything. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? You can see like all the cards appear onto the arcade cabinet. Look at that. Look at that. Dragon Ball Heroes. And it's got its own anime opening. Because I mean it is an anime. But yeah. Here you go. Mm -hmm. What? 
two Gokus fighting each other. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Like I said, with Dragon Ball Heroes, you can't you can't expect logic to happen with Dragon Ball Heroes. I'll be real. The, the, don't don't worry about it. It's the the opening is really cool. The the music is really like it's it's on point. It's fantastic. Like so with Dragon Ball Heroes, specifically in this um in this series of the anime. Um oh by the way guys, I'm sorry. There's there's no there's no yeets. <laughs> there's no big yeets. I turned it off. I could open it really quick. I could do that. Just just because Let's uh let's do that. Look at my desktop wallpaper. If you guys want this, I ha I have it. I think I put it in the Discord. Oh my god, there's a lot of things happening. What's going on? I think I put it in the Discord. Where is it? Um, art. Yeah, it's there. If you guys want it. By the way, Retro Shiba, I fucking love this, and I wanted to ask you since you're here, can I make this into an emote? Did you make this? And do I have permission to use this as an emote? I think it would be really cute. Did you make this retro Shiba? Cause that'd be really, that'd be really cute. Like, I want it. I want to make it an emote. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, but yeah, uh, there you go. My my desktop wallpaper that I made. You guys can have this if you want it. It's there. There you go. You're welcome. And if anyone asks, be like, oh, DBZ made it. Who? And then there you go. Plug. Anyway, um. <laughs> just no uh, I found it off from Google. Oh, okay. Well, then I can't I don't I don't know who the artist is. Otherwise, that'd be dope. I could try I don't know. We'll see how that goes Um. Oh Damn, how am I gonna make this wake now? It's fine Hydrate. Oh, thanks for the hydrate running. I appreciate it Wait, what am I doing? Why am I trying to open this? I don't need this right now. No. Oh, oh, close. Never mind. Change my mind. I forgot what I was doing. All right. So, the um, back to the topic of the Dragon Ball Heroes anime, like. <laughs> yeah. The good is boy. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Hold on. I hear another one coming. Wait. I'm at the <laughs> uh, I can't help it. I love making the memes. I love making jokes. Uh, this podcast is screwed up. That's fine. It's, it's okay though. We're learning. We're still learning and chit chatting about stuff. Um, anyways, so for plot, if you guys are wondering why there's like two Gokus in this anime, um, they're basically there's there's different versions of Goku, right? Same thing how there's like, um, like from Goku Black, you know, versus like regular Goku. So he's like, hey, there's yo, him. What? The what? 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 I say? What? What happened? Oh no, Bromi's hungry. Uh oh. Anyway. So this one, okay, that Goku. Wait. This Goku here, this is like Dragon Ball Super Goku, okay? The other one that you see that's got like a red kind of robe on and stuff, that's like That's like a uh, Time Patroller Goku. So it's a different guy, but still the same, if that makes any sense. Um I'm going to go play when I'm going to play Halo or Brawlhalla. Play both at the same time. Mosab, thank you for the treat. Oh my god. Have a good time. Get the dubs. That Dragon Ball GT Goku. Um, I think that's the funny thing too. Uh. Dragon Ball GT Goku, I think, also falls in the, under the same category as the uh, Xeno Goku that you're about to see. Um, because Xeno Goku can go Super Saiyan 4. Um, so, yeah, maybe? I, I don't... It's it Like I said, it's even I'm confused. And I've been so invested in this for a while now. Like, 
<laughs> it's I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but yeah. Trunks all locked up. Free my homie, he did nothing wrong. See there you go, that's that's yeah, that was a cool fight watching uh Dragon Ball Super Goku, so like Super Saiyan Blue Goku versus Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And everyone was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's it's, it's great. The anime is sick. The anime is really sick. Dragon Ball Heroes. It's really cool. And this planet, by the way, or it's it's a collection of planets, but it for some reason it's called the Prison Planet, even though you clearly see multiple planets just like locked up with chains and everything. Um, it's it's really weird. But yeah, fucking the Prison Planet. <laughs> Giant galactic sized chains locking up planets together. Cause fuck it. Um. Drunks in prison, what did he sell drugs or something? Um, it was a weird kind of misunderstanding kind of thing or something like that. He got he got locked up. I don't know. Pizza, hello. Can he destroy the middle? I don't. Yeah, true. I don't know. It's it's weird. Hello, welcome to the podcast, DBZ Nerdcast. We're talking about Dragon Ball Heroes, and then after we're gonna talk about like VTubing, and um, I can probably give you guys some tips and tricks on VTubing if you guys want to do that sort of thing, and show with my 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 journey as a VTuber, how it's been and how it's going, you know that kind of thing. <laughs> and yeah. DBZ Nerdcast. Okay. We can show this a little bit. It's fine. DBZ is perfect. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Shiba, what are you talking about? DBZ Spark and come. You, 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 are you serious? When when's Budokai Tenkaichi? When's the new Budokai Tenkaichi coming out? Are you are you? Did they did they release a trailer already? Do, is there gameplay? What's happening? Because you you saying DBZ sparking sparking meaning like Budokai Tenkaichi? I'm confused. Don't don't hurt. Don't mess with my emotions right now, bro. I I swear. I swear. What's happening? Yeah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Because I already, I already, we've already saw like a glimpse of a trailer for for a new Budokai Tenkaichi to come out. DBZ Sparking is what Tenkaichi three. Yeah, I know, but well, okay, Sparking is what they refer to the Budokai Tenkaichi series in general. Because if you remember, Budokai Tenkaichi three was called Sparking Neo, and um, yeah. So fourth one's coming. Yeah, we. Yeah, I know that. But like, did they release it? A recent trailer or something? Why? Why do? Why do be like? Oh, it's coming! Like, I know it's coming. I don't know when though. Want we'll to talk about that? We could talk about that too. But it's it's kind of a, all going on a tangent then. But um, but yeah, the uh, a new Budokai Tenkaichi begins. Like it's oh my god, that trailer was so cool. Um, if you'd like to actually see my response to that, um, I I posted that. Uh, as a sm s small video on the YouTubes. We know it's coming since March. Yeah, 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 yeah. The smallest of trailers that they just kind of gave away during a fighters tournament. Actually, hold on. Let me remove the uh, visualizers so you guys can see these subtitles. Because they do have subtitles down here in the bottom for some reason. And, like, I could put... 
the subtitles like from the captions from this but it only does japanese so i have to turn that off so but that's okay the trailer graphics are so sick yeah holy that was so next gen like that was that was amazing and i love it okay visualizers off so you guys can see the, the subtitles and everything There you go. The future Trunks was supposed to have come to this world for training. It's Few from Xenoverse. I can't say that. That's that's me saying it's Few from Xenoverse is the equivalent of saying it's that guy from Fortnite. <laughs> Because in Dragon Ball Heroes, few like came to be in Dragon Ball Heroes like first. So me going backwards from Xenoverse to this, it's like it's not. It's it's weird, but yeah. Prison Planet. いかをしないでよ。友達がピンチなんだ。調べるのは当然だろう。韓国学生は宇宙中の危険な囚人たちが集められた星だと言われている。急がないとトランクスが危ないよ。トランクスのやつ世話焼かせやがって。行くぞ
the plant's on my desk. The plant is on my desk, and I have an emote. It's the plant. So, so yeah. Um, look at baby few. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him. He's so cute and evil. I love it. But yeah. So few. Hold on. Do they do they talk about like his actual? Where's the part which shows his biography? Ooh, wait a minute. Few is a demon and the son of the artificial being Mira and the evil scientist Toa. Bam. Bam. So Mira and Toa. Got a DBZ because of these TFS abridged. Yeah. Honestly, I'll, it's kind of weird and interesting too. A lot of people have gotten into Dragon Ball because of Team Four Star. So it's it's bad in a way because there's a they kind of botch a lot of things on purpose just for comedy reasons. But um, and it it makes it difficult because a lot of people will go. Oh, Goku's a bad father. Meh. That's because in Dragon Ball Z Abridged, they joke around and make it as if he is a bad father, but he's not. Um, like, when you think about it, like, Goku has died for his son twice. Like, what? Technically, a third time, because if you count the um, Dragon Ball Z movie, um, Bojack, he came back from the dead to save his son gohan by punching bojack in the face like it was it was really cool so you know if he's such a bad father then why would he do that you know i'm just saying um mira and toa aren't married no they're just she's just an evil scientist and he's just a artificial being that she created and they yeah that kind of thing you know goku's not a bad father he was just dead all the time yeah, he was he was dead because he tried saving his son. Like <laughs> anyway. Um but yeah, so a lot of stuff in Dragon Ball Heroes is really cool. Especially this kind of thing. A lot of random plot, you know, random plot, putting stuff together, making cool like um bad guys to fight that are way cooler than like base uh normal uh DBZ or Dragon Ball Super, honestly. It's weird, but I love it. Um and yeah. And a lot of things from Dragon Ball Heroes are coming into newer content and media from for Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball's universe. So that's what I love about it. It's great. And yeah, um, if you guys want to know more, um, I think you guys should take a look at it. Like the the promotional anime, we need we um, I think I want to watch it again, like all of it. Because there are more episodes coming out soon, like, because, again, this is just for promotion for the, the video game. Um, but this whole playlist, I'm super down to watch with you guys in the Discord. I'll set up a watch party, and we can all just hang out and watch this. Because it's really, honestly, it's really cool. The fight scenes are really good. The art is, again, it's drawn like Dragon Ball Super, so it's really easy to watch. And it's just like, oh my god, the plot. The plot's really cool. And... Yeah, it's just a lot of fan service, like 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 trunks get going Super Saiyan God, you know that kind of thing. Um, what I want to do now is we're gonna talk about V tubing, V tubing. But right before I'm, I'm gonna take a little break, I'm gonna take a little small break, stretch my legs, use bathroom, all that kind of stuff. Watch party, I'm done. Yeah, watch parties. I want to do more watch parties. So if you guys want me to watch certain things for watch parties um i guess react suggestions would be a good spot for that um we can watch a lot of different things and just yeah set up watch parties in the discord so so yeah also thank you to everyone who has been joining the discord and um following the rules and using the in doing the introductions to let me know like all your all your ages and stuff because you get certain things when you do that so really appreciate it um yeah not gonna lie dbz got popularized in the, in the philippines really oh my god does does it have jiren going kaoken honestly i'm not sure it could be a thing you never know you never know what dragon Ball heroes anybody can do anything you know it's that kind of like fan service it's like yo um why not you know why not give everyone the kaioken <laughs> i don't know so so yeah um I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a little take a little break. Just my legs, all that good stuff. 
and yeah and then we're going to talk about vtubing <laughs>